G'day guys, we're here in the chop shop and today I'm going to explain to you guys the cooling system on the RBM3 and a huge shout out to Davies Craig because they're giving you guys a massive discount just in time for Christmas. So uh, we'll get to that after we've explained exactly how this car stays cool. Uh, it's a very simple system and I'm not sure if I've explained it thoroughly before but uh, for those that don't know the RBM3 has an RB26 engine in it and uh, as we all know this thing revs to 10,000 RPM and it's just ridiculously always on the limit uh, and for me to be able to keep this thing cool or in a temperature range that's not going to make this thing self-destruct it's extremely difficult so uh, straight off the bat we put electric water pump in this a Davies Craig 150 so they have all different ranges all the way from EWP 80 uh, and this is for you know engines up to two liters and then as your engine size gets bigger they recommend uh, obviously to go up in size now the number means how many liters it flows per minute so uh, we have the big boy the 150 alloy one on the RBM3 and uh, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how this is actually inbuilt into the cooling system uh, because most of you guys know that the radiator is actually in the boot. So, long story short, first thing you have to do is rip the factory water pump out, uh, and that is behind here. You can see that I'm pointing at. So, what we do there is uh, we pull that water pump housing off, uh, actually take the fins off of the back of it, so completely remove them. Uh, it still looks like I'm retaining the water pump, the factory one. But there is no fins in there. Yes, I still have the pulley uh, and it still obviously drives. But I've decided to keep this pulley on uh, with the factory belt with the alternator because if there ever was to be an issue at a track somewhere around the country, I can simply just get another standard belt and it will fit straight on. Whereas if I got rid of that pulley and just ran it straight off the alternator, I'd need a custom belt and always have to make sure I've got spares and uh, it's just one of those things where I just wanted to be able to go down to your local shop and get the belt if I needed to. So that's the first thing you do. Uh, then you remove the thermostat because you no longer need a thermostat with electric water pump because it's all controlled within their own electronic module. Uh, and it's, it's freaking cool. So you literally take the thermostat out, water pump fins off, put the water pump housing back on, obviously, uh, and then still run it as if it was a standard engine and then I'll show you where I've actually put the electric pump so all the way in the back here so as you can see the air gets ducted through the rear window uh, down into the Phoenix radiator and then under the radiator there's two fans with a shroud and the electronic water pump is just down here excuse the dirt guys there is quite a lot in the back actually uh, and what you must do is actually have the hose at the bottom of the radiator going in to the water pump so if this was at the front of the car you need to make sure the bottom of the radiator hose is going in and then it's feeding the engine out of the side here it looks like a little mini turbo they come with the thread so you can just screw in uh, dash 16 fittings which makes it really easy to put our um, speed flow fittings on. This is just hooked up to the PDM. Yeah, I simply have a switch on the PDM so I can flick it on and off, uh, but it's programmed in the, in the ECU to come on at a certain temperature. And then also once I've shut the engine off, it'll sit there running for three minutes or anywhere up till it cools down to a certain level again, and then it'll shut off completely. That's just to get rid of heat soak, and it's actually very beneficial, especially for your turbo, uh, and also obviously your engine, because you know sometimes we shut our cars down when they're still hot. It's extremely bad for it, and uh, this electronic water pump actually helps save us a lot of money and time, because it does it all for you. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is just show you exactly what's in this kit. So here is a brand spanking new. 150 EWP. Uh, the entire kit comes with absolutely everything you need. So here is the electronic module 
that comes with it, the controller. Um, you can literally set it all up to the temperatures you want. The, all the instructions are in this box. It's extremely easy to hook up. Uh, the entire wiring loom comes with it. Even the, um, even the temperature sensors, or sensor, I should say, to make your life easy. That's obviously gonna go in the top radiator hose, not the bottom, guys. Don't forget that. Comes with your hose clamps, and it even comes with the fitting to put your temp sensor in, and then it has all the instructions to install it. So everything is in here, guys. There's also a extremely good video on the Davies Craig website, davieskraig.com.au. Uh, it'll give you a full uh, rundown of exactly how they are supposed to go on, and it makes it really simple if you've got, obviously, radio in the front, like most people. Uh, yeah, they explain everything perfectly. All right, guys, so that's a real quick rundown of how the cooling system works on the RBM3. If you do have any more questions, feel free to hit me up below, and uh, I'll get back to you guys when I can. But huge thanks to Davies Craig. Uh, if you guys want this exact unit that I use, here is the part number right there. And now the best part of the video. Davies Craig are giving you guys 35% off everything from their website. This is a limited Christmas special and ends on December the 22nd. Now the promo code is Jake Christmas 2019. So all you need to do is head to davieskraig.com.au. I'll put the link in the description. I have the promo code there as well. And this is a one-time offer up till December 22nd. So if you guys want electronic water pumps, their thermo fans, absolutely anything that they sell online, now's the time to get it because 35% off is huge. So a massive thanks to Davies Craig. You guys know that I've been trying to get your discount codes on all the stuff that I run. And this is just the beginning. So huge shout out to them. Can't thank them enough. You can use it on your drift car, your street car, your hot rods, your time attack cars, your drag cars, absolutely anything. And now we're gonna to get to the part where I prove how freaking good they are by showing you a lap of Adelaide 500 in this thing, where I'll be pretty much drifting for two, three minutes on the limiter, like the entire time. You guys know how much abuse I give this car. So enjoy the footage guys, and uh, if you really wanna have a look at the temperature, it's on the left hand side of the dash. You'll see it starts at about 70 or 80, and uh, creeps up to about 100. And then right at the end, I try to really push it just to see if I can get it to 110, and it just wouldn't get there, the tires let go. All right guys, that's enough talking now. Let's just cut straight to the clip. Enjoy it. See you next time. <laughs>
Ooh. Mm-hmm.